Hello, how are you? Let's start this landscape painting. And this is a very, very beautiful. Uh, many members have requested they want to do something uh, with their uh, palm tree and the beach. So today we're going to paint this. Uh, first, let's talk about how to draw this first. Okay. And the, uh, the top of the ocean is very much right in the middle. So I want you to make a decision. You want to have the sky a little bit more or you want to have the beach a little bit more. And what do you think? If you want to have the beach a little bit more and you have to have the sky a little bit less. Is that right? Or you want to have the sky a little bit more and you're going to have the beach a little bit less. So you need to make that decisions right here. So, okay, let's take a look. And there, uh, I think I'm going to leave the sky a little bit more. What do you think, Catherine, Helen, and Peter? And I think that Okay, I'm going to put the picture up at the corner over here. Okay. Yep. And member uh, of Enjoying Our can come here to the, in the Zoom with me through this process. So if you're a member, you can come over to take a look at and what we have. Okay, here we go. I'm going to have this and show this very little tiny okay but hopefully this is not affecting your and member can download this from right from the um from our patreon page okay uh, okay yeah and i'm going to have that uh, camera, they have me instead of have their, okay, here we go. Now this is good. Now I'm going to also have me to um, spotlight for everyone uh, in on Zoom. Okay, so if you're a member, uh, now you're looking at it uh, in their uh, YouTube community, uh, please come in to join. You can see the joining the links on Zoom. Okay, you can download the reference, the large reference. Okay, this is good. And let's start our drawing. Uh, drawing is the planning. I always think that drawing is very, very important. Um, if you can make decisions very, very quick, of course, you can just uh, just paint start from uh drawing with the watercolor brush right which is i do uh, a lot in the demonstration when i don't have enough time but today we're going to take all the time we need okay to make this a beautiful gorgeous paintings hey hi if you have any questions uh, please type in on youtube type your your question over there i would make the answers after okay all right now let's take a look. Uh, the sky is really beautiful. So we're gonna move, maybe we're gonna see maybe the bottom of that uh, hill, it will be here. How about that? I just don't want you to make that uh, the sky and the beach is the same size because it's gonna be, what is the focus, right? What's the focal point? What's is more important? You have to make a little bit, uh, easier for the people to pay more attention to one thing or the others. So I'm going to draw the the top of the the beach is right over here. Now hopefully you can see this line. It's a little bit soft like that. So this is would be also the bottom of the hill. Okay, here we go. I'm going to try to draw a little bit, a little bit darker like right here. I'm going to draw this triangle. Can you see that? That triangle like this. Like that, that's good. 
So when you paint, you can paint a little bit different, right? So right now, just draw a little guideline. So the water of the beach coming up from here, coming up over here. The pencil I'm using is a 2H. It's very light. Um, this is good. I'm going to have this little rock over here. I have a little rock over here at the bottom. And of course, some of those smaller. And here you go. Like this. And this is good. So we're going to paint one thing at a time. Start from light to get de more and more detail. Darker and darker. Okay, like that. That's good. Now, now you can see that very clearly. The sky is just the main. The beach is secondary. Okay, this is good. Now I'm going to have a little line coming over here like that too. Okay, coming over here. This is good. Um, hmm, this is the autumn already and and we really miss the summer and we wish next year is we're going to have more travel time and I'm planning next summer <laughs> speaking of the summer next summer is going to have a tour around uh, America and then the 2024 I want to have a tour uh, classes workshop in the Europe and I already have plan I already accept invitations for in our Italia. So if you uh, know for next summer, if you know a local uh, watercolor society and or you're part of the local society and let them know I'm accepting invitation to teach in their um, organizations. Okay. I'm currently is a uh, National Watercolor Society signature member. So I have a lot of things can share with their members. And I'm a uh, local um, studio art professor in Boston. I'm a full time professor here. So and looking forward to see you guys face to face. Okay, this is good. This is a little shape. Now I'm going to plan on uh, the palm tree. If you can make the palm tree a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, it's totally up to you. But I'm going to see that uh, in the picture, the palm tree is a little bit off from the middle of the, um, of the picture. Okay, and we can keep it like that if you want. I'm going to start from here. Okay, that's the first palm tree. I want to see the whole group. Okay, this is how big that palm tree will be. You can make it a little bit bigger. Come up over here. Okay, so it will be look a little bit more uh, powerful. So I'm going to see this is, will be the space for the palm tree. As you can see that this is, will be the space. And then you're going to divide this space. Okay, into trees. Like this, it will be. Here you go. This would be uh, one group. This is three of them. I have another. It's another group, all right? Like this, and this is always start from big to small. Okay, here you go. Like that, and that's good. And like this, that's good. Now we're just going to paint those leaves a little bit later. Now this is the second group. Okay, you don't want to have them like a bum 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 the same space in between. You want to see them as a group. There's a one group, two group together. There's one group, and over here there's another group. Okay, there's another group. So leave a little bit space in between. Okay, like that. Yeah, and here you go. Like it. first, draw the tree trunk, and then um, we can actually make it up with the leaves a little bit later. You can draw the circle for the leaf. Okay, that's it. Like that, that's a little bit over here, the little circle. You can draw lightly. Okay, you may not really see what I'm drawing, but uh, it will be okay when I when we get ready to paint it. And this is good. Just mark the location. That's that's all about the location. A little bit over here. Like that. This is good. Now the reflection is a right under directly vertical. You don't want to have them over here. You want to have this come over here. It's impossible, right? So we're going to have a vertical coming down like this. And the top of the hill is right here, right? That's just the top of the hill reflection. 
So it's going to be almost the same distance like that all the way coming down over here. Just put a little mark like this. Here you go. And here we go. That's, this is coming down over here. Vertical. So are you drawing that with me? Is there anybody on the uh, YouTube channel? Are you doing that at the same time? Okay, that's good. Okay. If you remember, we're going to go through some sharing at the end on Zoom. Okay, I can see your drawing, your painting uh, at the end, and we can uh, talk about what's the issues in your painting, how to avoid it next time. Okay, so if you are not a member yet, and I hope that you would join us, just come to um, patreon.com slash youngchen and you can come to see the benefit of being a member okay we have club activities we have uh, a full learning library and then you can let a learning center and this one is very soft like that like that this is good so our drawing is almost done and think about the cloud the cloud is very soft so I don't really need to draw out the cloud, but I'm going to show you how to do that step by step with the cloud. And I think here, by the way, the paper I'm using is arches. I cut it into nine pieces from the 22 inches by 30 inches full sheet. So this is about 10 by seven and a half. That is the size of my watercolor paper. And it's quite small. The regular watercolor brushes may not be able to get into the detail. But if we are using this set of enjoying our, our brushes, this one will take care of the sky and the larger shape. And this one is going to take care of the details of all the, the small trees and the small details that we're going to use this brush to take care of that. Okay, so let's take a look. How are we going to do that? We definitely, the, all the trees are darker than uh, the sky, right? Darker than the beach. So we're going to do the trees a little bit later. But looking at the, uh, and the beach over here, it's very soft. So that means that I'm going to do the sky first. And then I will, after the sky, I'm going to do the beach. When I do the beach, when it's close to the dry, okay, but still wet, and I will do the reflection. And after I take care of that, and this is gonna be very soft, wet into wet. And then I will come back to do the tree on the top over here. Okay, so this is the plan. Okay, are you ready? Okay, uh, I'm going to start from, let me tell you my, my plan. And there's a, some really light cloud at the bottom. A very light cloud, can you see that? Uh, right over here. Right, the light cloud at the bottom over here. Uh, we are going to leave it. So don't paint over the light cloud. But the top over here, I'm going to lift up those soft white clouds. So that means I'm going to paint the blue color uh, first and the top over here. Let's see how it goes. Okay, this is the plan. I'm going to take the blue color directly. This is the uh, Windsor blue green shade, or you are taking the uh, present blue, okay. Very much, looks very much the same. So I'm gonna get more water, make sure this is, this is gonna be good with one round, right? I'm gonna have this brush, you see this brush, and soak into all this consistent blue color. Let's start it. Okay, I'm gonna start from the corner over here. I'm going to do the wet into wet. So if you're not quite sure about this process, and you can just watch me today and right now, and you can just uh, follow the video, and you can uh, paint it step by step and uh, on your own. Okay, that's good. Like that, that's just good. You have to do a little bit faster. That's just, it's not gonna wait for you. Okay, here you go. Now I'm coming down over here. I have to do a little fast enough again. If you're not fast enough, it's not going to uh, have the same effect. This is good. I'm gonna have a little dry brush like this. This is good. 
like that. And I'm going to have a little bit, a little bit gray, which is have a little bit red at the bottom over here. I'm going to have something really, a little bit coming down over here like this. Okay, this is good. And I'm using the side of the brush. And here you go. Like this. See a little bit shape over here. And I'm going to clean my brush. Have a little bit softer over here. Okay, this is good. Have a little color coming in over here. Like that. This is good. See a little bit. It's separate. Okay, here you go. And now we can come back to the top quickly. Okay. I just want to have a little bit softer. Right at the bottom over here. That's good. Now I'm going to clean my brush. Now here we go. Now it's just almost dry. Now I'm going to start lifting up the, uh, the color. I'm going to lift up the color. Just make it look like the light, the light cloud. Okay, here you go. I'm going to have that coming like this way. I'm going to lift it up. So I'm making sure the brush is a little bit soft, uh, a little bit drier than uh, the paper. Okay, this is good. Like that, lift it up. We have been doing lots of other medium, like oil painting or portrait. So we haven't done much about the <laughs> landscape watercolor painting. And I know members really like this uh, subject matter. And we're gonna come back to do a little bit more. Here we go. Just make sure it's dry enough, okay? You don't want to introduce more water uh, to the to the paper and it's going to create other texture you may not really like okay this is good and i'm going to do one more just lift it up okay just lift up something over here this is good like that okay very nice and i'm going to lift up a little bit more on the top over there this is good. Now we'll come back over here. Oh, this is a little bit, a little bit too dry. So I'm going to leave a little bit over here like that. This is fine. Okay. This is the sky. What do you think? huh? The timing is very important in watercolor painting. Okay. There's no doubt. Now I'm going to work into the reflection. Take a look at down over here. I'm going to take a look that it start from, or that actually we're going to use the same blue color right over here. I'm going to take a little bit more blue in here because I add some water in here. So that is a little bit lighter, right? I'm going to start from here. This blue color is the same. It's the reflection of the sky, okay? Sometimes you use the whole brush. Sometimes just use the corner of this brush, okay? And some people always ask me that, do you actually uh, uh, wet the whole paper before you start? Uh, I never hide my process. So you can see that I did not wet the paper. Because why? I'm using this large brush and it would big enough. It just to uh, have the all the wet paint onto the paper. Okay, you don't really need to. Um, you don't need to wet the paper first. If you wet the paper first, and it'll be a little bit over soft overall. So I'm gonna have that coming here. That's good. Just use the corner of this brush like that. So you have some reflection of the white cloud. That's just nice. Okay, that's just pretty good at the front. And now I'm gonna take a look and just clean the brush and maybe have a little bit red and mix it into here. Okay, this process is very fast and I cannot actually wait for you. So you're probably better off if you are, if you're feeling a little bit stressful and just wait until the video is done and follow the video step by step. Okay, now I have a little red and a little yellow. So, so make this look a little bit great. And this is beautiful. That's the first round. We have that over here. Okay, now I'm gonna put the color in here. This is almost like the gray color over here, but a little bit more red. Okay, I also have some basic video uh, for watercolor painting. And for members, you can go into the basic watercolor um, library, okay? 
you can go through that. There's about there's a uh, over hundred uh, on different medium. Okay, this is good. I'm just use the tip over here. Also putting into the gap over here. You see this brush. Really interesting like that. This is good. All right, and I'm gonna quickly. I'm gonna put in that some um, a little bit softer over here. Just use the not really much water just a little bit damp brush like that make a little bit softer now quickly i'm going to use uh, my clicker fee brush now here we go now clicker fee brush i'm going to start uh, putting uh, the reflection colors of the hill now i'm going to put the yellow right over here quickly get the red that will be orange color that's just very easy and if you look like, oh, this is orange, yellow and red, right? Now I'm gonna take a look. That's a reflection right over here. I'm gonna have that. Oh, now this is a beautiful complementary color. Okay, here you go, like that. It's really soft. Okay, here we go, like that. Coming through over here. Very soft, that's just good. Okay, now I'm gonna leave a little light shape. Okay, here you go. I'm gonna have this a little bit gray connecting together. I even have a little, just a little bit blue with the um, yellow. Now it looks like a little bit green right over here. That's good. You see that? That's just great. And that's why you can go in a little bit like that. Oh, that's good. I see a little gap over here. And here you go. And get a little bit red. I'm gonna paint around this. That's good, like that. Oh, I like those color reflection. That's good, like that. And I'm gonna ping leave those shape. Is how easy to control with this brush. It's any shape you can control it really well. That's just good. I'm gonna leave a little gap, and when it get closer. You don't have to make exactly the same shape, okay? That would be fine. Okay, this is good. Right over here. That's good. Now I'm going to uh, change the color. I'm gonna have a little bit darker, a little bit kind of darker brown color. I'm gonna take the red, right? The red and the blue color, they make a very, very dark color, but we don't want that dark, right? I'm gonna clean up my brush. Don't really need that dark. Get a little bit red. Clean my brush. That a little bit too much. I'm gonna get a little yellow, and here you go. So this is a brown color we need. Okay, okay, that's just good. Now I'm gonna have this. Put it in right here. There's a little bit darker. I'm gonna just drop the color in here. You see that? Beautiful. I'm gonna have a little bit red. That's very very enjoyable. Okay, here you go. That's good. That's very easy and nice transition. Okay, this is good. We have that. And at this point, and those we can do that a little bit later. But at this point, we're going to walk into the palm tree. Otherwise, it's going to be too late, right? So we're going to see. I'm going to have this mix a little bit gray-green colors. I'm going to take this color. This is good. I think I have a little bit more yellow in it and have a little bit red, right? Otherwise it would be too bright. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna have that brush a little bit sharper. Now here we go. I'm gonna do the first one and start over here. And here we go, like that. This is good. Ooh, perfect timing. Okay, here we go. Can you see that? That's good. Okay, focus like this. I have a little bit more brownish color. Okay, here we go. Okay, if you miss the timing, it's gonna be very sharp. It's gonna end up to be a very sharp line. Now it's going to be a little bit softer, a little bit kind of like a little bit blurnish. I have I better to get a little bit faster because it's going to be too dry. Okay, come all the way over here like this. You see that those actually the line coming from the inside over here like this. 
Beautiful. Okay, that's good. And I'm going to have a little bit softer. Okay, quick. And okay, that's good. A little bit line coming here. Okay, that's good. And another line over here. Ooh, a, bit, a soft color over here, a little bit darker. Okay, a little bit darker color, a little bit softer. I can see that, a little gap over here coming in. Okay, that's good. Now I'll take a look at a little bit orange in this. Okay, a little bit faster. Look a little bit faster. This is a little bit softer, like that. This is good. I'm gonna have a few lines over here like that and make it even feel like softer. Yeah, that's good. Okay, very good. Very good. I'm gonna make this even softer like that. Very good. And over here, I'm gonna have also a little yellow color. I wanna make this even interesting. Make this a little bit softer color, a little bit more yellow. Yeah, throw a little yellow color in here. This is good. Oh, I like that a little yellow color. Okay, now I'm gonna go into put the leaf. Okay, here we go. It may be too late though. Okay, here we go. Like that. This is good. Okay, here we go. Just like this, and some horizontal line. Okay, this is good. Like that. Just tap on it. Okay, like this. Very good. A little bit few more shape like that. We're gonna see. Uh, we can make more changes after the painting is done, and those details we can modify it even more. Okay, here we go. A little bit softer like that. Okay, that's good. A little bit softer. You can use the water, make it even softer if you want to. Okay, like that. Okay, here you go. Some soft line. And you can see that there is some horizontal line like this. Okay, that's as good. That's the reflection. I'm gonna have something a little bit darker. I'm gonna have this actually darker color. I'm gonna have the red and the blue color. Okay, I really suggest you just wait and you can have fun and relax following. That's as good. Like I'm gonna have this a little bit darker in here too. And there's a line over here, a little bit darker like this. Okay, this is good. Oh, I like it so far. Now, the cloud looks is very good and very natural. And the sky, the cloud over here, looks is very interesting, but we need to do a little bit more before we paint the tree because everything behind those trees, we need to be done, right? So there's no way we can come back to paint that. So I'm gonna take that, just the blue color at the bottom over here. I'm gonna make sure that it's a little bit more brighter blue color right here. That's good. This already drives, so you can do whatever color, you'll be fine. This, that's good. Okay, that's good. And the bottom over here, a little bit more define the ocean. Okay, that's good. Like that. Softer, that's good. Beautiful. Okay, that's good. And a little bit coming over here. The sky already dry. And that's good. Like that. I'm gonna have a little bit more blue. Right over here, a little bit more blue. And make it consistent, the same blue color, but it's a little bit dirty, this blue. So I'm gonna just take a little bit fresh blue color. Okay, not too dark. Okay, always think about the value. Okay, not just the color. Okay, here you go. Now this is a little bit dimmer. That's good, like that. And now the bottom over here, I'm gonna move this a little bit lower. And at the bottom, at the water edge, it has a little bit green, gray green color. So I would do that after the the bottom of the cloud dry, right? We can do that like like that too early. Okay, okay, a little bit softer. That's good. A little bit softer over here. Okay. All right. Now I'm gonna paint something on the beach. 
Now this is the time moving on to here. And what's that color? Just the blue with a little red, okay? A little bit tiny, tiny red. And I have videos on how to see uh, and mix different colors. So you can just search Yong Chen on YouTube. Uh, Yong Chen mixing color, okay? Or watercolor basics. So if you remember, you just go into um, the basic library uh, at, under the watercolor section, uh, you can find it. Okay. Uh, if you have any problem using the learning center, uh, write to me. Okay. okay, here you go, like that. A little detail, that's good. That's just good. Have a little gap over here. That looks pretty good now. I'm gonna have this a little bit softer. And by the way, we have a associate, new associate member a tier uh, membership and you can come in to try it so if you like it and before you upgrade it to the membership level and the membership level allows you to join all different clubs activities including portrait club right uh, we have calligraphy club we have oil club uh, we have uh, all different clubs which is uh, members can uh, would get together every week and learning together. Okay, here you go. Now I'm gonna soften this. This is good. Have that little bit transition, just the watercolor like this. And I always want to, any chance I, I, I can have to thank my patrons and my supporters because without your support, I won't be able to focus and make teaching art um, uh, with dedications uh, is my focus. I'm gonna have this a little, little bit more, a little bit more, you can modify that shape. That's good, like that. I can have also a little bit softer, a little bit over here, just this good. And I'm gonna also gonna have that uh, little details, just a little blue color, the ripple, like that. Here you go. And when this is closer to us, it always have more details. Expect more details, right? That's good. Have a little bit like that. Okay, that's good. And wonderful. Now I have nice suggestions of the things at the front. Okay, over here too, I'm gonna have a couple line like this at the front. This is good, like that. All right, now, very nice. And now it's the time to do it over there. And I'm gonna take a little bit greenish color. This is the color, the color of the ocean. Okay, this is a little bit greenish. This is good. Okay, it has yellow and and green color. Okay, here we go. Now I'm gonna put this right over here. That's good. A little bit soft, perfect. That's the color of the ocean. Okay, perfect. Now what we're gonna do? Time to do the little hill. Okay, I'm gonna get the yellow color. Is you always have a plan, right? The plan is, is very, very important for watercolor painting. And oil is a little bit different that you can actually play with the idea again and again for a very long time, uh, for days, for weeks, for a year. Uh, watercolor painting is more fun to play. And I'm gonna start with the brightest color uh, what a color has need to have a plan and I'm gonna have this color right here this is the brightest color this is good and think about value and think about color okay that's good right there that's good right here that's good coming up a little bit Ooh, this is the brightest area and this is the most the beautiful uh, area so I'm gonna have that 
mix a little bit more red into it and now here we go and when I have this a little bit more red orange okay like that that's good now coming at the bottom over here there you go and first putting the the color that and the overall color shape okay like this and coming down over here and a little bit darker like that and come closer and take a look that's just the rock that's just the rock and this is good and it's going to the bottom the, of the beach over here now I'm gonna have a little bit you see the transition it looks very good right now I'm gonna have a little bit more of the brown color which is have all the three colors together so I'm gonna have this right there that's good that's the beach here just a reminder down over here uh, that is the part of the beach so you don't want to have that too much uh, we need to put the different color over there I'm gonna clean up over here there's a little wet into wet too much so I'm gonna clean that by take away the color okay take away the water so that's good I'm gonna have some rock over here so it would block out the tension okay continue I'm gonna get a little bit more blue we already have the blue color here so mix it into here and I think too much water so I'm gonna take away that is yes, I need some color a little bit more um, a little bit more solid so I'm gonna have the little, little red over here the orange over here get a little bit blue this is good I'm gonna start adding that right under here yes here we go and I can see a little bit layering here you go fix the, the straight line horizontal okay right here and like this and the front over here has a little bit gap like that and this again this is get closer and closer to us so it's going to be also see a little bit more expect more and more details I can overlay some light color a little bit later okay here you go on the top over here a little bit softer have a little bit brown uh, again the brown color basically yellow red and a little blue right it's very simple and here you go that's a little bit brown like that and coming here okay look before you paint and the middle over there I'm gonna have a little bit transition and orange red color I'm gonna take this color and put it here here you go that's good have a little bit blue color here you go like that and I'm gonna have some texture and a little bit later okay that's just pretty good so far and we can also add some dark color right now and why don't we put some colors for the rock on the beach I'm gonna just get the blue and the red color is that these two color together make it very very dark so maybe have a little bit yellow because it looks a little bit greenish color okay this is good that's very good and I'm gonna take a look this is still a little wet so I'm gonna not gonna touch it that yet so I'm gonna have this after moving out a little bit more that's just the rock I'm gonna make this rock even bigger okay here you go like that that's good that's all we need to do just put the shape over there and the people is going to take it as it must be the rock on the beach right uh, what else okay exactly okay that's good okay that's as good and have a little bit shape over here too like that a little shape over there a little rock and here you go have a little bit of reflection of this rock there's a part of the beach okay here you go like that so now I'm gonna also create a reflection just use the soft brush like that this is good and let's get a little water it make 
make it looks really nice. Okay, that's good. Now, I'm gonna take a look. This is probably still wet, so I'm gonna working out the color over here. Okay, we'll do the do the uh, trees a little bit later, right? I'm gonna now remix the dark color. Watch out, and get the blue, get the red color. This is really, really, really dark. Okay, so this is good. Now I'm gonna take a look at right on the bottom over here. Maybe it's still a little wet, which is perfect. I'm gonna have that like this. A little bit wet into wet. Okay, that's good. Like this. And coming a little bit out over here. And here you go. Okay, a little bit softer. And coming over here. That's just fine. Okay. And I'm going to put the rack over here a little bit later. I'm going to continue over here. Okay, that's good. And coming here, and then I'm gonna come a little bit over here. I'm gonna use a little bit dry brush uh, in a moment. Okay, now I'm gonna add a little detail. Get a little bit this, a little bit brown color. Now here we go. And I'm gonna have this a little bit softer like this. And I'm gonna create a little transition, a little gap by modify the value. Okay, that's good. And I'm going to show you, okay, right here. Now the top over there, I'm going to have a little bit brighter color. Now, here we go. And the top over here, I'm going to have another color. Uh, maybe I'm going to leave up a little gap first. Try to, I think that needs to be a little bit lighter. Okay, more lighter. Now I'm going to take a look. Now shape my calligraphy brush like a fry brush, like a small fry brush. Okay, here we go. Now here we're going to do. I see that? That's a little lighter already. Very simple. Like that. Ooh. That's a little light gap. Okay. Move that left and right. That's just good. That's all we need. We don't need that much. Okay. And over here, I'm going to... Now we're going to have a good time to shade it, the color. And this, shade it a little bit. Have a little bit yellow on this side. Okay, you're gonna see. And after we put the palm tree, it will be great. And now we're gonna use the same color, very much the same color. I'm gonna do that on the beach. Are you ready? Uh, here you go. Here, this is the color. But this is wet. I don't want to touch that too much. Okay, leave a little gap. Okay, that's good. Like that, and have this color coming over here. So it's not just white. Have a little bit yellowish beach color. That's good, like that. Okay, have a little gray color. Maybe a little bit darker. So I'm gonna have just a little bit darker here. A little bit brownish color. That's good. So I'm gonna have a little separation, a little detail over there. It will separate. Now I'm gonna have a little, little bit kind of bluish color. Okay, a little bluish gray color. Okay, now for this and shade it over here, the white. Okay, that's good. Like that. Just very softly. That's good. Like that. Very nice. Okay, I think the reflection looks fine. This is the also reflected the sky color. Okay, like that. And we're gonna tie it up uh, very soon. Okay, now take a look at, it has a little bit brownish color on the edge of the wave. Now we're gonna put that right here. Leave a little gap on the outside. And here you go, like that. Okay, that's good. Like this. Now, make it more realistic. Okay, that's just good. Okay, uh, let's take a look. And we're gonna have a little bit darker in the reflection and showing that reflection on the top. So right here, 
I'm gonna have a little bit darker like this that's good that's very good a little bit dry brush line okay I think this is pretty good we don't have to do too much wonderful ah yeah I know you enjoy it huh so so enjoying art this is our slogan there's also our community name okay so come to join us we can enjoy art together okay now I'm gonna do a little bit green color to get the yellow and with a little bit uh, blue color on the side okay now I'm gonna take a look at now I have a little bit green color on the top over here now getting a little bit more details and here you go like that uh, the process of the painting is very very crucial right is you have to follow the correct process so that you can only do one thing at a time you don't want to do too much okay it's impossible to do multiple things at once and maybe but it's not going to be the enjoying way to do it okay that's definitely not our way to do we're just doing one thing at a time one thing that's it okay now after after all those time and we're gonna come back here to get a little bit dark color now come back to do the rock right here you go you go right on the edge right on the beach over here that's good now here you go I'm gonna have a little rock over here looks like that and the edge over here like this a little bit shape this is good a little edge over there that's problem fix now come the little bit darker color coming over here again and a little bit darker a little bit shape over here like that I even have a little bit shape over here this is good and that make it very realistic and convincing that's good now coming the top over here I'm gonna have a little bit brown color Let's take a little brown color over here there you go now you can see that that's good a little bit more red that's good oh and now over here on the hill I can make a little bit shadow now separate from uh, the shadow uh, no, the reflection okay this is good all right let's finish the painting by painting the trees and i'm gonna mix a little bit green gray color so get the yellow and this is the blue right not yet get a little bit red okay this is good so this is would be the color it's a little gray enough okay a little bit darker get a little bit red then and this is good uh, this is good for the tree that the, from the bottom especially the bottom a little bit darker okay now take a look and coming down over here uh, looking at me that's good easy like that wonderful okay here you go make sure that is the top a little bit thinner and the line at the bottom a little bit thicker actually have this coming over here a little crossover here you go Okay, that's good. Now I'm gonna do continue doing the tree trunk. Okay, there you go. That's good, like that. Take your time, okay, and have fun. This could be a summer memory. Okay, there you go. That's good. Now I'm gonna take a look at mm, this is good. I'm gonna have one more tree, a couple more tree over here. Okay, like that. And that one straight. Okay, now coming on to this, I'm gonna get a little bit more pink. That's good. Now take a look at I'm gonna do this one a little bit more like this. look at it again coming all the way slanted like this perfect now do the one in the middle look again 
little bit curve on this side and come straight okay that's good that's one is just coming here like that that's good now I'm gonna okay continue onto uh, the tree on this side this side actually can be a little bit darker okay I'm gonna have a little bit darker color that's good and take a look over here that's good and this tree across over like that that's just good and look at again a couple right here two or three trim and here you go and here you go like that that's a little bit more easy flat that's good like that okay a few more over here okay that's good and that's good we don't need more okay that's good and a little bit over here now just put a little tree there's some leaf on the top over here like this that's good like that now we're gonna working on the leaf the leaf have a little bit more green so I'm gonna have a little bit blue mix it into here and if it's too much blue it's got a little bit yellow okay here you go this is good but this is too bright right so always go into the red make it a little bit oh, but don't want to have too much so I'm gonna have a little bit more water yeah, and here you go yeah it's a little bit softer here you go like that take a look at color now let's take a look take a look how the leaves uh, like this here you go looking at it all right that's good I have a, a video about how to paint a two palm tree and uh, you can search on say palm tree you can, I'm sure you can find them that I show you how to do the uh, the the leaves bunch by shape by shape okay that's good like that and a little bit coming over here a little bit lighter like this this is good right wonderful right now it's so small so you don't have to do uh, this I want it to be a little bit higher like that okay here you go like this and you go right here now we can add a little color to it like a little brown color a little bit later so this is good okay here you go like that and that's a little bit brown look like a little bit brown on the leaf that's good a little bit over here that's one and smaller now I'm gonna clean the brown and have a little bit green come back and here you go a little bit like that that's good a little bit over here okay now I'm gonna have something a little bit darker this a little bit darker like that and there you go just going to be fun and the detail looking for it you don't have to do exactly but find the accents of the shape how those things connected and and it would make you feel like that is the the tree the kind of tree that you're painting okay let me comment and also leave me comment on other uh, videos too and when I have a chance I come back to uh, come back to look at them and give you answer also our member also would like to look at your and and give you their suggestions as well okay here you go okay do a little bit faster from here 
like that. That's good. This is this is easy. There's a whole bunch over here. I'm gonna take it a little bit, whole bunch, but still do it a little by little and see how those actually the whole shape connected. That here you go. That's a little bit connected. Yeah, and here you go. Those three. How they connected. This is a whole group. See them as a whole group. That's good. Like that. And a little bit more. Okay, here you go. That's good. If you want to do a little bit more details, so use a bigger paper. We're definitely going to help. Like that. Okay, and take a look at somewhere it need to be darker. So I'm gonna take a little bit more blue into here. Now I'm gonna take a look. There's some of the the lid is a little bit darker. So let's see that. Make a little bit emphasis on some shape. Okay, like this. That's good. And over here, a little bit darker. Okay, a little bit darker. Okay, here you go. Because some of the the shape actually in the shadow. And some are a little bit more in the light. So you have a different value. Okay, that's good. Like that. Okay, now the palm tree is there. And I think that I'm going to have a little bit, this can be a little bit, expand a little bit more, like this. I like to have this, the tree a little bit bigger, like that. That's good, like that. And a little bit over here too. Okay, have somewhere just a little bit darker like that. Now the whole painting come together. Now I'm gonna take a look at. Um, I think this is good. The ocean color looks really nice because it's really soft and not really much, right? Not really uh, standing out so much. So I want to have a little bit greenish. Okay, a little bit green. Just take the blue with the yellow. I'm gonna have this make that the heel start over here coming up like that so make that a little bit better separation okay that's good the shape look better and also have a little bit green at the bottom over here and seeing a little bit dark that's is good a little bit red under this side and on the edge over here okay here you go a little bit darker like that that's good now a little bit detail, a little bit texture on the hill. Okay, like this. I'm gonna have a little bit texture, a little bit more clear. Okay, that's good. And I can add a little bit detail, like this, coming up, coming down, over here, and have a little bit darker, a little bit, like that. That's good. A little bit detail, and. You really need to have fun. And this is why we are making art is we're having fun and why don't we have fun together? Come to join us when you can, okay? Just take a look at the video description. When you return back to here, you can see the link to join uh, and learn with us. I'm gonna have a little bit a little gap over here I'm gonna have a little gap like that even make it interesting okay that's good all right I'm gonna call this uh, demonstrations uh, going to end and by having a little bit a little bit lighter orange color over to over here softer and make that a little bit softer coming here like that. 
Okay, that's good. Oh, that's good. A little bit softer, this color. Okay, and a little bit orange color over here too. Oh, that looks good. And if you want to, like I say, lift a little color, make it a little bit softer. So this flat brush it do the best work by softening, like over here. It's going to want to this a little bit softer. Just use the corner of this brush and 45 degree to the paper, like this. Okay, if you do it a little bit longer, don't scratch the paper, okay? And you can make this a little bit softer and this cloud feeling and this the cloud and the reflection of the cloud much softer i'm going to make this a little bit softer too i'm going to have this like this that's just good just go to enjoyingart.com slash brushes and you can find this set of brushes waiting for you over there okay over there i also have the video show you how to prepare and use these pair of brushes okay all right and this is the end of today's demonstration i'm looking forward to see you next time